It's a place of serene beauty and tranquility. For 90 years, the Santa Barbara Botanic Garden has fostered the preservation of California's native plants through research and education. In addition to its efforts to promote and preserve native landscapes, the garden has recently focused on sustainability and conservation. Those efforts have earned the Botanic Garden the prestigious Water Hero Award. The City of Santa Barbara Water Hero Award is a way for us to honor either an individual, a business, or an organization who really goes above and beyond for water conservation and can serve as a role model for the rest of our community. And this year we honored the Santa Barbara Botanic Garden for a multitude of reasons, but in 2016 they also completed two wonderful gardens that really benefit water conservation in a way that visitors to the garden can take an idea um, in terms of plant palette, irrigation, etc., and bring it back to their own homes. We changed our mission back in 2010 to reflect that we also wanted to be a role model for sustainability. And so in the last several years, we've replaced five gardens, uh, all of which have gone to a much more water conserving uh, approach to the landscape and really done ways that inspire people to use California native plants as in a way that reduces our water need and promotes habitat and wildlife. The garden not only works to preserve native plants and provide answers to conservation challenges, but provides practical solutions for water saving techniques that can be applied in your own home and garden. Although the challenge of converting your home and lawn to environmentally friendly systems can be daunting, the Home Demo Garden provides many ideas on water saving technologies. So we wanted to really bring it home and bring it to a scale that made sense for so many more people. And the WaterWise Home Garden really does that. It shows off rainwater collection, shows off a dry creek bed, shows off using the gray water to landscape, a rain garden, all the features that you can put into any home in, in our area in really smart ways to use California native plants and promote a wonderful landscape in the process. The Island View Garden employs simple and innovative systems that fully utilize the water that hits the site. So uh, up at the parking lot, which is a little bit uphill of us here, we collect all that water, it runs down our driveway, and then pours through this bioswale feature. We're calling it the rill, and it is planted with horsetails and sedges, and they will filter that water, and then it, as it filters through, it pours into our rainwater collection system at the other end. So over the course of the year, we actually gather enough water off our parking lot and building rooftop and collect it into our rainwater collection system that it actually meets, we expect, our entire demand in this garden. Also, at the Island View Garden, visitors have the opportunity to see, touch, and smell a variety of drought-tolerant plants, native to eight of the Channel Islands. The garden has even highlighted plants that are hardy enough to survive those of us who don't have the gift of green thumbs. Another plant that uh, is on our list of easy plants is the seaside daisy. It's a coastal bluff plant, and so it's used to having some uh, fog drip, but um, you could water this once a week and it would be very happy. You could water this once a month and it would be less happy, but it would not die. Manzanita is not just drought tolerant, but is also native to California and can add to the curb appeal of your home. The Botanic Garden has a whole section dedicated to this distinctive and diverse plant. A lot of these manzanitas are species that came from the wild, but um, some of them are hybrids or they're selections. Somebody went and rappelled down a cliff somewhere because they saw a manzanita that was blooming a bit sooner or a little more compact or had some feature that made it great for gardens. There's a manzanita for every possible situation. The Garden Growers Nursery is also a great place to shop for all varieties of water-wise native California plants. This is where, in my opinion, all the fun happens because this is where you get to buy the plants and do the creating. An annual plant sale held in the spring and fall offers over 5,000 plants to choose from. During the drought, it's very important to find people in the community who are doing the right thing so that others may follow suit. So the Botanic Garden has a great showcase of beautiful native plants and as people are removing their lawns during the drought, it's a great opportunity to see what are the landscapes are available and what may be saving more water in the long term. For 90 years, the Santa Barbara Botanic Garden has been a shining example of preservation, education, and conservation. The garden has provided solutions to thousands of visitors and is a living illustration of sustainability that will be in full bloom for generations to come.